There is a huge difference between the Pro V1X yellow ball and the Pro V1X white ball. They should be the same, but they are not. But does it make a difference? Maybe. I've been getting a ton of messages about these two balls and is there really truly a difference? So the first thing I wanted to do was weigh the balls. All right, 45. All right, 45 for that one. And number three. Okay, so all the yellow ones are 45 grams. But let's get the Pro V1X white balls out. 45 gram ball number one. 45 grams ball number two. Oh, ball number three is 46 grams. Interesting. Okay, we have our balls for the experiment. Now, that's not the scientific scale. So my guess is that it's like 45 point something or other and we're right teetering on that scale. So everything's really close, but we're throwing these out because we don't want anything to taint the experiment. But we know all these balls are the same weight, but we're not stopping there. Here is where I think the major issue difference lies. I got the caliper specifically for this video. So we're gonna measure them to see where we're at in size. Okay, we're measuring in millimeters here. Let's get the white ball first. 42.62 millimeters, white ball, Pro V1X. And here's the yellow ball, 42.65 millimeters. Looking at the second ball that will remain in our experiment, very similar to the first, 42.62 on the caliper. Yellow ball, and that one's identical, 42.65. Six, five. We do know that the yellow ball, according to our measurements, is slightly larger. Why is that? Why would this ball be larger than this ball, the same weight, and does it make a difference when you hit shots? My initial theory was this, it still is, that we're all somewhat colorblind. Nobody sees red the exact same way. The way you see this red is just slightly different than the way I see it or anybody else sees it. And those people who are colorblind definitely see it dramatically different than the people that aren't you know, colorblind. So my theory is that some people see yellow very different than others. Same with white. So that some ball colors, although they should be the same exact ball, we're gonna perceive that color differently. So some ball colors, if everything else is exactly the same, then we should, some people, not everybody, but some people should be able to hit certain ball colors better than others. That's why a lot of people are saying the Pro V1X yellow is made different than the white. Well, we weighed them and measured them and they measured subtly larger. And my theory is it could be just the paint on the yellow, it's slightly thicker than the paint on the white. Could that affect performance? We're gonna find out. Ultimately, I believe the color yellow for some would help them, for some it would help them hit it better because they're just going to have better eye hand coordination when they put the club face on the ball. For others, they would see white better. Therefore, they would have better performance with white. Let's first start off with pitching wedges. This gives us a good baseline where we're at with the pitching wedge Pro V1X white ball. We have an average carry distance of 121 and an average spin rate of 8 1,333. Everything looks perfectly fine. The feel on those is standard Pro V1X feel. That's the ball I play with every single day. That's my gamer ball. Now let's jump on the yellow and see what happens. 
the feel feels exactly the same. I do like the look of the yellow on the green. Let's see what the numbers reveal. And we have a ball speed of 97.4, average carry of 122, and an average spin rate of 85.61. So looking at everything in terms of wedges together, we can see that, look, I very consistent. I just push the ball a little bit, it's normal for me. My yellow ball dispersion and white ball dispersion is nearly identical. There might be one white that's kind of throwing it out, but all in all, very, very similar with the wedge. 8,500 spin with the yellow ball and 8,300 spin with the white ball. I'm gonna say for all intents and purposes, those are equal as far as a wedge is concerned. Here we go. Titleist Yellow will be first this time with the driver. Let's look at my driver dispersion with the Yellow Ball Pro V1X. Club at speed 104, average carry 254, ball speed 153, average spin is 3000. It's a little high with this driver, but whatever. Average carry is 254, 271 total. Everything looks pretty good. Let's hit the whites. Okay, here are my numbers for Pro V1X white ball. Club speed 104, ball speed 153.5, so half a mile per hour more, roughly. Carry 246, total 267, 3103 spin. So smash factor 1.49. Here's what's interesting on average. I'm hitting the white balls with a better smash Factor. However, with the yellow ball, I'm getting eight yards more carry with a little bit less spin. Isn't that interesting? And a little lower smash factor here in our setup. So I'm getting a bit more carry, a bit more distance with that yellow ball, even though I'm not even hitting it as well as the white ball. Why is that? Here's that yellow ball blinking and the white ball driver not blinking. They're all going in about the same place. So my swing, we're getting consistent results. It's just that that yellow ball is traveling slightly farther with the driver than the white ball. Let's cut it open to see if they're apples to apples or not. First things first, and let's try to cut it open on the line. Same thing each time as close as we can. Don't lose a finger here, Maddie. We have new colors this year. New colors. Pro V1X inside right there. And yellow ball. Here we go. Well, here's the yellow ball color. Does the color matter inside? Okay, on initial inspection, when you first cut the two bad boys open, it appears as though the Pro V1X yellow is a three layer ball and there's a four layer ball with the Pro V1X white. However, you have to look super closely at everything here because this has an inner core, the second core, then a then a very small layer, then the outer core slash cover. And then on the cut, then there's, a, then there's like a cover color on the golf ball as well. So on the yellow, it just looks like it's three layers, but, but so you have to look at it very closely and you have the inner core, then you have that peach second core, which is the same as this, just a different color. Then you have the second layer, right, right in there. And then you do have a layer color, which is yellow and it's the same color as that second layer. So I don't know why they colored it identical to the cover, but it's very subtle in its color difference, but it is still there. So first impressions is, whoa, they're totally different. But then upon further investigation, you realize 
the layering is identical. Now, why does yellow perform slightly better in terms of performance on TrackMan? Good question. The size is like infinitesimally different. Now, it could be me measuring it. I'm no like scientist, but with my measurements, it's slightly different. So that might affect the performance. However, I do like the performance of the yellow. Me personally, I kind of like the yellow. I'm going to give it a go for a little bit, see how it performs on course. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time.